In this video, one can see the performance of ECP for 360 degrees plus. This is quite useful in the management of refractory forms of glaucoma. In this technique, not only is the ciliary epithelium photocoagulated on the processes, but also one seeks to create a confluent row of photocoagulation lesions on the pars plana at the base of the processes as well. The standard technique is performed with turning the tissue white and observing shrinkage, but tissue explosions are to be avoided. The pars plana is most easily reached for photocoagulation through a pars plana approach or a through the bag approach at the time of phacoemulsification. It is more difficult to access this area from the limbus when proceeding over the bag or lens. The goal is to laser 300 to 360 degrees of the ciliary body, intensely white, and also to create this confluent row of photocoagulation lesions on the pars plana as well. Typically, the long-term outcome of this extensive treatment is an intraocular pressure in the single digits. On the other hand, ECP can create breakdown of the blood aqueous barrier as manifest by flare in the anterior chamber or a fibrin reaction. Typically, 0.1 to 0.3 cc's of decadron is injected into the eye at the conclusion of surgery to limit the potential for this problem.